later in this video. Jack, what's going on? I don't know, I didn't call the wind. Somebody else must have. You guys, I cannot believe that spring break is over already. I know, where does the time go? I mean, we all went on date night to Pizza Planet, and then we all turned into mermaids and went to the future. <sighs> Whirlwind. I'm sad to see it end. At least we have these sweet jackets. Purple ladies, am I right? This year we're gonna rule the school. In case any villains try to give us any trouble. Ugh. Those princesses think they're the best thing since sliced bread. I can't believe I got transferred to Princess Academy. I've been cutting glass for like 600 years. I guess he finally caught up with you, eh boss? So, uh, which class are you in first? Dance class? Boring. There's the bell. Don't be late, Maleficent. You're the new kid in school. You gotta make a good first impression. I make bad impressions, Diablo. That's the whole point of being a villain. Don't be nervous. Turn that frown upside down and go make some new friends, huh? No. <laughs> they grow up so fast. I can't believe we all have dance class together this semester. I know, right? This is way more fun than regular gym class. Phew, and just as much of a workout. Right? That foxtrot is really fast. My favorite is the samba. Psh, fools. Kaka! Shh, Diablo, what are you doing here? You're going to give away my hiding spot. You gotta stop hiding and participate in your classes, young lady. Did you guys hear something? It kind of sounded like a big bird. Oh well. <sighs> Great job, my little spring chickens. Oh. And speaking of spring, the spring dance is tomorrow night. And it's not just any dance. It is a dance marathon. And that means you have to dance the entire time. You can't stop. Don't stop me. <laughs> Whoa. The whole time? That's right. And anyone who stops dancing is eliminated. But the last couple standing wins tickets and a free limo ride to prom later this year. <laughs> what? Prom? I've always wanted to go to prom. <gasps> wow! That's amazing! And it's 1950s themed. Good luck. <sighs> oh, I just love the 1950s. Cat eye glasses, poodle skirts, drive-ins. I know this is going to be so much fun. Let's go invite our dates. This is the perfect time for a scheme. But I think I'll need a little help to pull it off. Where, where am I? This isn't my jazzercise class. Calm down, boys. I called you here for a very important reason. We've got planning to do and a dance marathon to ruin. One <laughs> hundred. But um, can I finish my movie first? It was just getting to the good part. Oh, I've seen it one before. The princesses sent him to jail at the end. That's called foreshadowing, kids. Spoilers, Gaston. The next day. Well, ring-a-ding-ding, -ding, this place looks chrome-plated. Huh? Oh, just some 1950s slang I picked up. Ya dig? I dig. What about you, Daddy-o? I sure do. The bird from the word is, we have to go over there to register with our partners to enter and get a number for the dance marathon. Well, what are you waiting for? Let's put the pedal to the metal. One out of there you are! Sorry, Chickadee. It took me a while to find the right duds for tonight's shindig. Well, you are one cool cat in that leather jacket. Thanks, Betty. I, I mean, Belle. <laughs> Sorry, I just got caught up in the lingo. Less of a Betty, more of a Sandra D, I think. Oh, let's go get registered for the contest! Good luck, you crazy kids! Raven, come in. Raven, do you copy? Raven here. Go ahead. This suit is super itchy. Jafar, focus. Okay, let's go over the plan one more time. You split up Belle and Adam and assign them to dance with Gaston and I. Oh, dance with Belle. I like that part. Copy that. And then we initiate phase two. Exactly. Over and out. We would like to sign up for the spring dance marathon together, please. Uh, I'm sorry, but uh, you two cannot sign up together. Huh? Why not? 
Because, um, your outfits don't color coordinate. What do you mean? Ah, here we go. How about you in the black jacket dance with that lovely? But, uh, she, she's not my dance partner. Tell me about it, stud. Boy, get I mean, I guess that leaves you and me, huh? Aw, oh, man! Uh, no offense, I just, I came here with Prince Adam. Can he just change his jacket? Nope, too late, you're all signed up. Have fun out there. We're coming to you live from the Princess Academy in the Spring Dance Marathon. Now remember guys and gals, it doesn't matter if you win or lose, it's what you do with those dancing shoes. <gasps> Look, Flynn, we're on TV! Wave! Oh, this place is just like Greece! Oh, hey Adam, uh, who's your date? I'm uh, Chi Chi D. Dragonio, the best dancer at Princess Academy. Never heard of you. Yeah, where's Belle? <sighs> she must have got paired up with someone else. There are some really strict dress code rules here at this dance marathon. Now it's time to throw your mittens around your kittens. And away we go! I love dancing with you, Ariel. <laughs> you really got a handle on your uh, sea legs, or <laughs> land legs. Oh, thanks, Eric. We've got this made in the shade, as they say. I think so, too. What's so hard about a dance marathon anyways? You look really familiar. What'd you say your name is again? Uh, uh, G. It's just G? Yeah, um, short for Eugene. <laughs> like Flynn Rider? Who? It's Rapunzel's, uh, never mind. <laughs> look at my dancing, Belle. No one dances like Eugene. <laughs> How'd you know my name? Oh, hey, can you guys do the hand jive? Like this? Peachy King Jelly Bean. Ladies and gentlemen, we are now entering hour three of the dance marathon here at Princess Academy. Who will be eliminated first? You know, this isn't so bad. Yeah, just gotta take it slow. Commence phase two. Oh, I think it twisted my ankle. But how? I don't know, but I think I need to sit down. Oh. Uh, okay, let's go put some ice on it. Ooh, that's gotta hurt. Rapunzel and Flynn Rider are our first couple to be eliminated. So thirsty. Come on, my little fish out of water. Just a few more minutes. Must find water. <gasps> Eric, look! What is it? A beautiful, glistening water fountain. Where? I don't see anything. Right there! Ariel, I think you're imagining things. No, it's right there! Ariel, no! It's a mirage! And another couple is eliminated. Sorry, Ariel and Eric. See you wet blankets later! <laughs> Come on, guys, we got this. Yeah, this is what Mrs. Lancer trained us for. I don't know about you guys, but I'm getting kind of hungry. Yeah, that dessert table looks really good. Do you smell? Chocolate cake? No, Anna, don't smell it. I can't help it, Elsa. It calls to me. Maybe we better go take a bite. You know, uh, keep our strength up. You can't, remember? The minute you stop dancing and leave the dance floor, you're eliminated. Hmm, cake or prom tickets? Cake or prom tickets? Cake! cake. Sorry guys, bye! Smell you later, Anna and Kristoff. Man, they are dropping like flies around here. I don't know, I didn't call the wind. Somebody else must have. Oops, levitating's against the rules of the dance marathon. All feet must stay within six inches of the dance floor at all times. You're out of there, Jack and Elsa. All right, let's hear it for our two remaining couples. 
So, what's the plan? Are you gonna bow out gracefully? What? No, you buffoon! I wanna go to prom with Prince Adam! That's the whole point of this plot! Huh? I thought Belle and I were going to go together! Me? Help you? <laughs> Please. Um, Mr. Announcer Person, um, our partners are whispering to each other. <clears throat> Hula winner me! Only one couple can win, which means one couple has to lose, because that's how these things work. Uh, come on, you guys, get it together, pronto. Yeah, yeah are we all having a great time? Ah, uh, this is so unfair! Maleficent said that- I, I, mean, I didn't say that. I didn't- Shh! Wait a second! Maleficent! It was Gaston's idea! Gaston? Ah, uh, I knew you looked familiar! Gee. All right, you two. It's all out in the open now. Go ahead, take off your disguises. It's been fun, Eugene. <sighs> uh, the ladies and gentlemen, it looks like a double elimination. That's right, both teams have broken the rules and therefore no one can win. Sorry about it, it's a sad, sad day here at the uh, Princess Academy. What? That's not fair, we didn't do anything wrong. Wait a minute. Doesn't that announcer guy also look a little suspicious? Jafar? Is that you? It's me, Jafar. But I'm only here to spin the funky beats, okay? I'm definitely not here to scheme with any other villains. <clears throat> Excuse me. It seems I've missed quite a bit of excitement here. Allow me to make an executive decision. Bell, Adam, you are officially the winners! Yes! In fact, everyone's a winner! I'm so sorry your dance marathon was ruined. But I'll see you at prom, everyone! <laughs> yeah! yeah! All right. There we go. All done. All done with what, Belle? With the posters for the Valentine's Day dance. I've hung one in every hallway. Oh, fun! Are you head of the dance planning committee this month? Yep, and I'm so excited. I just love, love. Oh, me too. Valentine's Day is one of my favorite holidays. Lunchtime. And lunch is one of my favorite meals. <laughs> one of your favorites? What are your other favorites? Oh, breakfast and dinner and brunch and midnight snacks. <laughs> oh, what's this? Oh, just some dumb poster Belle made for the Valentine's Day dance. Lame. Oh, Belle. I wonder if maybe this year she'll go with me. Blech. <laughs> you actually care about that nerd in the yellow dress, don't you? Of course. Don't you love Anna or, or Elsa or, or one of the two? <laughs> oh, that's a good one. Oh, wait, you're serious? No, I don't. I was just pretending to like them so I could take their kingdom. You dunce. Wait. Really? It sounds like you're the one with the frozen heart. How did I miss that part of the movie? You miss a lot of things, Gaston. But princesses are so nice and smart and help you with your homework after school if you promise to wear deodorant and stop being a villain. Princesses are foolish. That's why I'm always outsmarting them. Always singing to animals and dancing around with daffodils. Ugh. Hans, I'm gonna unfreeze your heart and teach you how to love. Pfft, no way. No way I would come. I'm not some sentimental fool. Wow, look at all this stuff. Isn't it neat? I know. Belle is head of the dance planning committee and I am head of the decorating committee. We've had so much fun planning this. This place looks amazing. Ariel, may I have the first dance? Absolutely. Let's go. <gasps> Rapunzel, Flynn, you guys made it. We wouldn't miss it. Everything turned out amazing, Belle. <laughs> I couldn't have done it without you guys. Aw, shucks. Okay, everyone, it's time for ladies' choice. Princesses, choose your dance partner. Hmm, I wonder who I'll choose. 
Hey! Let's dance, reindeer boy! I'll take that as a compliment. <laughs> Who are you gonna dance with, Elsa? Oh, I don't know. I'll probably just go check out the old snack table. Ooh, sounds like a good idea to me. Who is that? Thanks for coming to this dance with me, Maui. You're welcome. Uh, I guess I just walked right into that one. Ha <laughs> ha, yup. Maui. <laughs> Are you sure this is going to work? Don't we need disguises or something? Oh, Hans, 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 you are enough just the way you are. Hasn't anyone ever told you that? No. No one's ever said that to me. That's sad. That's a sad story. But tonight, you are going to get that fairy tale ending I know you've always dreamed of. Uh, look, look, over there. It's just Elsa. So what? Look at her. All alone. Her sparkly blue dress. Uh, sparkling. Don't you want to ask her to dance? But didn't the announcement say the song was Lady's Choice? Dash the rules. The only rules that matter are the rules inside your heart. <laughs> No, no, I, I, I couldn't ask her. Sure you could. Go on. Really? Huh. Um, hi. Hello. I'm Elsa. I'm Jack Frost. Would you like to, um, dance? Absolutely. What? Where did that guy come from? Yikes! He looks really cool. Literally. <laughs> Who cares? <laughs> no, not me. Not Hans Westergaard. I, I didn't. I didn't even want to dance with her, anyways. She's a dork. <laughs> oh, Hans, buddy, pal, man, buddy, you. We can't give up yet. Not when we come this far. Look around. There are plenty of girls to dance with. Let me show you how it's done. Belle, you really have done such a great job planning this dance. Have you ever thought about being an event planner? Thanks! I mean, yeah, I have that and a librarian, an author, a rose gardener, and... Um... Whoa! All at the same time? Yeah, why not? I'm a Belle of all trades. Oh, Belle! Give it up, Gaston! Alrighty then. Anyway, what was I saying? Oh yeah, Bell of all trades. Well, that went well for you. Quite you. I'm playing the long game. Obviously. I'm out of here, Gaston. Love is way too complicated. <laughs> Ruling the world is simple. To two. <laughs> Anna, check it out. Elsa's dancing with someone. <gasps> really? Who? No. It looks like Jack Frost. What? He's here? Aren't you the Snow Queen from Arendelle? Yeah! You've heard of me? Of course! You know, I have ice powers too. Whoa! I've never met anyone else that can do that! Oh, Burr! Did it just get really cold in here? Yeah, it's for fr freezing. Maybe we should dance faster. Good idea. <laughs> so where do you come from? I haven't seen you around school. Oh, I'm from all over the place. Being 300 years old means we really get to see some places. <laughs> 300 years old? Wow, you look really young for your age. Thanks, Elsa. 
I really like talking with you too. I know, right? We have so much in common. We both have ice powers. We both have little sisters to save. Exactly. <sighs> but unfortunately, I can't stay too long. I have business to attend to back at home. You know what it's like having superpowers. There's always some villain you gotta deal with, right? Oh, of course. Yeah, um, you'll have to come back soon and visit again sometime. That sounds snow perfect. Thank on. <clears throat> Excuse me, everybody. I just wanted to make a quick announcement. On behalf of the party planning and decorating committees, we wanted to thank you for coming to the Valentine's Day dance. Stay tuned. There will be more dances coming up this semester. Rapunzel, I, uh, noticed that Flynn wasn't around. Ugh, save it, Gaston. Flynn's right over there. <laughs> oh, fiddlesticks! Who's left for me to dance with? Ah. Moana, of course. She doesn't have feelings for that big lug with all those tattoos. Now's my chance. Ugh, I can't believe none of the princes have asked us to dance. We look great. Gorgeous. Young and gorgeous. What are we doing? It's 2019. A woman can ask a man to dance. Good luck. <clears throat> Hello, Prince Adam. I was wondering if maybe... Oh, hi there, Mrs. McDougal. I hardly recognized you. I'll be turning my English paper in a little early. Th oh. Wait a second! Maleficent? Mrs. McDougal? You thought I was a teacher? That's it! To detention with you! Ugh, you know, I might consider dancing with you if I wasn't here with Belle, and if you were nice, and if you were not a villain! Haha! <sighs> <laughs> In your dreams, beast boy! Um, hello there. I was just rejected by the girl of my dreams. See, I kind of have this thing for smart, brave girls who go on big adventures. Uh, uh, uh. Anyway, I was wondering if you might maybe consider dancing with me. Of course. <gasps> no! So anyway, we both said sandwiches at the same time, and I was like, what? That's what I was going to say. Oh my gosh, you guys! What? Is something wrong? Is Olaf melting? Is Hans back? No sillies, they've just announced auditions in drama class for the school play! Oh, oh my gosh! I can't wait to audition! I've never been in a play. I think I'd be a pretty good actress. Totally, I think you're so good. And it looks like there are parts for all of us, so hopefully we'll get cast! I'll have to tell Prince Adam! He loves the theater. I think he'd make a great actor. Have you ever been in a play before? No, but I hope I get picked. <laughs> well, we better start preparing for our audition scenes. Come on! Guess I came to snoop around Princess Academy at just the right time. School play, eh? Finally, a chance to show off my dramatic expertise. Not to mention, if that dream boat Prince Adam is auditioning, count me in. <laughs> to be in the play or not to be in the play, that is the question. So, you all received the script I wrote called Flowers of the Caribbean Safari. Critics have called it a brilliant blend of Cinderella meets Pirates of the Caribbean with a sprinkle of the Lion King, and that is the play. All right, Tiana, you are up first, reading for the part of Princess Poppy Seed. <sighs> a dream is a wish your heart makes when you're fast asleep. In your dreams, you lose your heartaches. Whatever you wish for, 
you keep. Brilliant! I felt that in my heart! Anyway, Anna, you're up next. Reading for the part of... The Meerkat. And I'm the Warthog, AKA the Cute Pink. Oh yes, go right ahead. Hakuna Matata, what a wonderful phrase. Hakuna Matata, ain't no passing craze. It means no worries for the rest of your days. It's our problem free philosophy. Hakuna Matata. That was just about the cutest thing I've ever seen. I love it. All right, who's next? We are, Ariel and I. Wonderful. And what scene will you ladies be performing? Mm, the pirate ship scene. Avast ye matey. Aye, there she be, old Annie Blackbeard. Aye, it be me. But why do you be calling me old? It be a figure of speech, aye. Ah, and now we do. Ladies, ladies, no sword fighting at the audition. Save that for the performance. However, I did feel as though I was at the Seven Seas. Last, but not least, we have Belle and Prince Adam. Yes. And we will be doing the final scene between Princess Cinderella and the Pirate King. Oh, my favorite! The intensity, the magic, the fire. Oh, go on, go on! It's hopeless. I, the Pirate King, have looked all throughout the kingdom and cannot find the princess from the pirate ball. She left behind this glass pirate boot. But wait, Pirate King, it's me. Princess Cinderella, I'm the one who danced with you all night at the Pirate Ball. You you have to believe it's me. There was magic between us. And to prove it, I have the other glass pirate boot. It is you. Oh, brilliant. Perfectly done. Encore, encore. That's the only scene you gave us. Oh, well then never mind. No. Encore needed. That was perfection. I think I've made my decision. Wait just one minute. You have one more audition left to see. According to this acceptance letter, I am a student of Princess Academy, and therefore I should be allowed to audition for the play. What? No way. She can't audition. Yeah, she's a villain. And yet I would be the villain if I denied her the magnificent honor of auditioning for a play, would I not? Ugh, well we know she's no good. Always. Go ahead, Maleficent. What part will you be reading for? I will be reading for Princess Vinderella. <laughs> what? Excuse me? That's the part Belle's reading for with Adam. Ladies, ladies, do not fret. Multiple times have people auditioned for the same role? Tis the way of the theater. Proceed. <clears throat> but wait! Pirate King! It is me, Princess Vinderella! I am the one who danced with you all night at the pirate ball. You have to believe it's me. There was magic between us, and to prove it, I have the other glass boot. Um, well, that was something. Thank you for coming in. Ladies, I think I have made my decision. I will let you all know tomorrow. Oh my gosh, I wonder if we all got the part we wanted? Belle, you and Prince Adam did so good. I don't know, I'm kind of nervous that Maleficent auditioned for the same part I did. Don't worry about it, Belle, you nailed it. Yeah, I'm sure you and Prince Adam will get the part. No doubt, cast list comes out tomorrow, so fingers crossed. <gasps> oh my gosh, here it is, the cast list. Ariel. You and I are the pirates! <gasps> we get to sword fight? Yes! <laughs> Elsa, we got the parts we auditioned for! Oh my gosh! Akuna Matata! It looks like I'm Princess Poppy Seed 
and Prince Adam is the Pirate King and Belle is... What's wrong? Maleficent is Princess Venderella? That makes no sense. The drama teacher didn't like her audition at all. I told you guys, now she gets to act with Prince Adam. This is not right. Something is up. Well, it does say that you're understudy. Oh my gosh, understudy? That's even worse. Excuse me, leading lady coming through. Maleficent, we know you're up to something. I don't know what you mean. My acting spoke for itself. I'll remember you in my Oscar speech. <laughs> no, wait, who am I kidding? No, I won't. Oh, Belle? Uh, what is it, Maleficent? I would like a snack. M&Ms, please, but pick out all the orange ones. Um, excuse me? <laughs> Belle is not your maid. She's my understudy. That's what understudies are for. Now get to it. I'll be in my trailer preparing my scene. You know, the one with me and Prince Adam. Toodaloo. Belle, you have to tell Adam he can't act with her. But he's been so excited about this play. I don't want him to give up his dream. I guess I'll go talk to him. I'll come with. We've got to get to the bottom of this. There's no way she's a lead. Good luck. We have got to get to rehearsal. It's about to start. Keep us posted, you guys. Oh, sorry I'm late, you guys. I'm not a big morning person. You might even say I could be a real beast. Get it? Well, the cast list came out today. Oh, wow. Did I get the Pirate King role? Well, you did, but... Maleficent got Princess Cinderella. What? That can't be right. That's what we're saying. Don't worry, Belle. I'll turn down the role. No, Adam, you don't have to do that. I know that you love acting and you really wanted this part. Yeah, Belle, but you're what matters the most. That's so sweet, Adam, but don't worry. You go to rehearsal, keep everyone occupied and distracted. Meanwhile, Elsa and I will go snoop around and see what we can find. The great actress, Maleficent. Thank you. The honor is all yours, like you said. The play will now take place tonight. Tonight? But we haven't even rehearsed. Uh, you don't really need rehearsal. The best theater is real. As long as you get the gist of it, you'll be Fine! What? That's the whole point of a play, is rehearsing the lines and reading the script? Hi, yes! Speaking of the script, I have made another change! Due to the incredible talent of our leading actress, Maleficent, I have added in a marriage scene! Yes, the marriage will be between King, Pirate, and Princess Vinderella! And the minister will be played by a real life minister! I'm here for the wedding! Not yet, minister. I mean, the play hasn't started yet. What? The play is supposed to be only students. Yeah, and I definitely don't think this guy goes here. As I said before, the best theater is real. Now let the rehearsals begin! I know what she's up to. She's using a real minister in the play so she can actually marry Prince Adam. I have got to text Elsa and Belle. This is not looking good. Great job freezing that lock off, Elsa. Thanks. An ice queen's gotta do what an ice queen's gotta do. Ooh, I just got a text message. Is it from our friends? Uh-oh. It is, and it's not looking good. What's going on? Mr. Vandersnoo is moving up the performance to tonight and he's adding a wedding scene between Maleficent and the Pirate King Prince Adam. Wait, what? Oh, that is so weird and can only be bad. This is hopeless. Okay, let's look. Do you see anything around the office that looks suspicious? No. Uh, you know what? Maybe he just thinks that she's a great actress. This has all been so exhausting. I'm just gonna have some coffee. Wait, coffee? He drinks coffee all the time. Yeah, that's probably why he has so much energy. Let me see that coffee bag, quick. You mean this one? <gasps> oh, Mally's Mad 
magic coffee beans? O'Malley's? <gasps> Maleficent's? Magic! Oh my goodness, I'm sure of it. She probably swapped this out. It's a potion. <gasps> and he drinks coffee all the time. We need to reverse it. Why don't you text Tiana right now? I bet Mama Odie knows something that can reverse this. Okay, hold this. Yeah. I just got a text from, from Elsa. She said Maleficent has swapped Mr. Vandersnoot's coffee. She needs a reversal coffee. I'll go call Mama Odie now. Be right back, guys. Oh, Pirate King, I will accept your proposal for marriage. I haven't even said my line yet. Shh. This is not about you. <gasps> Tiana texted back. She said she should be able to get Mama Odie's reversal coffee by tonight. I hope we get it in time. I think this is gonna work. Oh, this is so exciting. I cannot wait for the people to see my madness opus, my great work. Hi, Mr. Vandersnoot. We know you love coffee, so we just wanted to give you this before the performance. It's a Nolan secret, Mama Odie's special. <laughs> Why, thank you, Belle. <sighs> I actually feel bad for not casting you. Well, at least you get to experience such great acting. Next time. Uh, yes, we know. Good luck. How long till it takes effect? Should be just a few minutes. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for coming to the opening of my original play, Flowers of the Caribbean Safari. Oh, Pirate King, I, Princess Vinderella, am so excited for us to be wed. Um, as am I, Princess. Belle, this coffee better kick in soon. Should be soon. Dearly beloved, we are gathered yeah, 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 get to the good stuff. Do you, Princess Vinderella? Maleficent. Oh, Maleficent. Do you take this Pirate King? Prince Adam. Prince Adam, to be your husband. I do. Wait a second. What's going on? Maleficent? It was supposed to be Belle. A, a wedding scene? Oh, this is all wrong. Stop the play. Stop this nonsense! I don't know what's going on, but Belle was supposed to be Princess Vanderella! And I don't know where in the world this marriage scene came from. And I'm so, so sorry, but we need an intermission. Belle, I am so sorry. It's okay, we knew something was up. Turns out Maleficent switched your coffee with a mind control potion. You had no idea. But now we have a whole audience here. We have to perform something. We can do it! Yeah, we can all just perform what we auditioned with. Like you said, the best theater is real, right? Oh, it's gonna be real. Real fun. <laughs> the show must go on. Mm -hmm. Let's get changed. Oh, I've taught you well. Go out there and break those legs. Well, that doesn't actually mean go and break your legs. We know! Let's go! Maleficent, wait a second. I have just the part for you. It's a problem-free philosophy. Hakuna Matata. Arf! And now we do it! <laughs> In dreams, you lose your heartaches. Whatever you wish for, you keep. Pirate King, it was me, Princess Cinderella. I'm the one who danced with you all night at the Pirate Ball. You have to believe me. There was magic between us. And to prove it, I have the other glass pirate boot. It is you. Ugh, this is ridiculous. Sorry, Maleficent. That's show business. Ugh, princesses. <laughs>